This is when I knew TikTok shit got banned, all right? If you don't read the King James, you're not making it into heaven. I don't want to talk about new slang. It's stupid. This new slang is different. That's fire. You know, boom. That's fire. That's lit. Boom. boom. Oh my God. We over here get a turn. Boom. Oh ah! my God. Listen to the What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Burger Hour Podcast, Black people's favorite podcast, where we just be black and that's it, bro. We just be black. I mean, we love Jesus. We but, love Jesus, but, but for the, the most point part, is that, like, we just be black. Yeah, like we just be doing black people stuff, and we happen to um, be on the podcast. You feel me? We we don't get it wrong. We don't put Jesus second. Jesus is first. Jesus is first. It's just that the point of the podcast is not like a Christian podcast. Like we just are people who love Jesus and yeah. represent Jesus. And it happened to be black. The framing was bad on the vertical one. Does it even matter though? Does it matter? You're not even live. It don't. Let me I'm get comfortable. Even, very, Let me get comfortable and kick it, bro. Right. I'm speaking of getting comfortable. When you go to kick your shoes off and and have a good day, crumble cookies mm-hmm. is a good option. Crumble cookies is good. Five. Or Cineholic. Okay. I know your, I already know your take. You I, don't. I, I asked him off camera. I said, I said, what you want? What would, what would you want better? The, your favorite thing from Crumble Cookie or your favorite thing from Cineholic? What okay. would be a thing? So what my you, answer. Oh, your answer. My okay. answer is Crumble Cookie. So I'm gonna let you know right now for that sure, me sure. and Cineholic, we are at a crossroads. Why is that? Because this bum, <laughs> this. this bum behemoth. You know what he's talking about? This <laughs> this crazy man. I mean, he's a cool dude, and it's a black man winning. But when he did this, he I, I had no business messing with him no more. I blocked him. I swear on everything. I quote the receipts, bro. When he made that video, I blocked him so clean, so smooth. Keith Lee has amazing. the audacity to go on his Tic Tac with 12 million plus followers and slander the beautiful, glorious, matchless name of Cineholic. Bro said, I don't even like squeaks like that. Everything too sweet to me. Oh, this is disgusting. It's way too sweet. Bro, don't even like sweets. You don't even like sweets. And then, like, what? Like, it made me start questioning Keith Lee's position and, like, why we had been listening to him. <laughs> like, who even are you? Like, it made me really start thinking about it. Like, when he said that cheeseburger was good, was it even good? Mm. How do you know? We're questioning everything now. Like, what is your. And then, bro, my cousin had the audacity. Like, I, we almost. We had squabble almost. Like, I had to. We had to separate because. He had the audacity to tell me. I said, I was go- I'm going to Cineholic. And then he was like, uh, you know, what's Cineholic? I'm like, you know, it's Keith Lee said he didn't like it. He said, oh, no, no, I can't mess with it then. And Keith Lee, you trust. Whoa. And Keith Lee, we trust. That's crazy. What? That's crazy to say. So I don't really be talking about Cineholic no more. So I'm like, I eat it still, but on the low. Yeah. On the low. Because, like, why would he go and slander Cineholic like that when you don't even like desserts? Yeah. And then, like, I don't want nobody else to be finding out about it. And I got to deal with, oh, because Keith Lee said, no, 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 because now we finna fade. <laughs> it's fades now. It's literally on the site. I'm just saying, don't you want to, like, be the advocate for no, Cineholic? No, 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 no. Because I'm not about to argue with somebody who follows Keith Lee's food advice. <laughs> Keith Lee has no credentials proving that he's the food master. Word. What has he done? Word. Fought people in a ring? So he don't claim it, though. He don't claim it. He doesn't claim it, but he's but he he know that he know where the check coming from. Oof. He know where the check coming from, and he's continuing to walk in that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, Word. bro? Linking with Kevin Hart, I had to block. Um, who he just linked with? Who you had to block? He just linked with. I had to block Cardi B. I knew it. I knew it. Uh. He had, I had to block Cardi B because here they go sitting there, and then we really watching this video. Like, first of all, I be doing full reactions, and I, like everybody want me to do mukbangs, and I be trying to do them, but it's so stupid to me. This is literally how mukbang go. All right, y'all. So today I had this cheeseburger that I probably all had already. And if you didn't, you're probably not going to go try it unless you already plan on going to try it. Because, like, am I really going to change your mind? And then I'm going to eat it. You got cheese on it. <laughs> that sauce, it kind of tastes like a, a Thousand Island. What's the sauce, y'all? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like a Thousand Island. Oh, yeah. It yeah, tastes like it, a Thousand yeah. Island. Mm-hmm. And that burger really is juicy. Y'all look at it. All right. Showing the burger. <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. And then here go Keith Lee. Yeah, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. That was literally what it is. That like, was what it was. Like, what is the, like, how? Based on what? Based on what? I guess his taste buds. And then, you know what? He started throwing in um customer service into, the, into the stuff. Yeah. That's a part of the rating nowadays? Have y'all ever been to a McDonald's? You got to. <laughs> y'all eat there. Every day. The number one restaurant in the world. That do not matter. <laughs> like, come on. McDonald's, really? McDonald's gets my order wrong every single time. Every, every time. time. 
And what, the only time that it is right is cold. You mean to tell me I finally got my order right and the fries is frozen? And my thing is you can tell when the customer service is about to be trash. Just by the way they answer on the intercom. You pull up, they be like, they be like, uh, hi, welcome to McDonald's. Would you like the... And before they say talk about the before moment, they, they cut it off. I off, bro. Hi, right, what you need? Hey, what I need. Let me tell you, bro. It's like what do when, I need? With that, with that, with the first, with that machine first started doing the automatic. Would you like to use the, your coupon today or your mobile app? Yeah. I think they didn't know that it was gonna ask me, so I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I do. And they're like, what? They're like, what is it? Would you be using your mobile app? Yeah, I will be. Huh? What? What are you talking about? I'm like, first of all, it was just a girl here. So you can't switch your Rudy Jamal? on me. Who's like, this? Where'd you come from, Jamal? It was clearly Maria 13 seconds ago. And then they could be confused. Like now I'm confused too. I'm like, what? No, what are you talking about? Wait, what did you, what you, you ask about? me? What do you where'd you come from? Like now I'm like, bro, we're arguing now. They need to they need to have like put ads out or something before that. Yeah, way. bro. They gotta let everybody they know. Need to roll out. That was confusing. Or, I still stop, confused. or stop the auto thing. Cause then I hate when they say, Would you be using your mobile app today? Uh no, not today. I just wanna and you start ordering and then the whole time they're not even listening. They not even listening. They not even got the they don't got the headset down yet. They're not yeah. even they got the head off the ear, they back there listening to the Cardi B. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that anyway. AI stuff is different, bro. You, I've seen a video where like the whole thing is AI. Like the whole ordering thing. It's all a robot. Yeah, I mean, why I'm down for that. Be? I'm down for that. Why wouldn't it be? Mm-hmm. Bro, that, that stuff and the way they got it set up in Japan, bro, they really took like people with antisocial skills like into consideration. Mm-hmm. The only thing that I think, only reason I think bit America would not benefit from it is because we're too social media heavy mm-hmm. and our future needs to learn how to interact with people. Literally. Which is why I hope TikTok gets banned. Who has a hot take? take. Is that a hot take? It needs to not take. be. That's a warm take. Which political party wants it to get banned? Bro, I'm back. Bro, it's unanimous. It's like both of them. I want it that. I'm unanimous then. <laughs> That's how I'm voting. I'm voting unanimously. All right. Since this one is at a party. Well, Dad's going to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stand with the unanimous party. I like, stand with this, unanimous. You think that needs to get banned? Why you say that? Okay, this is what I knew it needed to get banned. Okay, I see this in real life. I give, swear. Give me a, uh, give me, a, give me a, a good clip. Yeah, of course, you always want a clip. You don't even be clipping them. You don't even be watching the whole episode clipping them. Bro makes like three clips a week, bro. Relax, relax. relax. Anyway, this is when I knew TikTok should got banned. All right, I'm in the mall, and this little girl. First of all, what is she wearing? Nothing. That's the oh, problem. Please. You, I see way too much, and she's seven years old. She put that phone up, and she go hit on you. Yeah, whatever they be doing, they, you know she what I'm saying? Renegade. You know what I'm saying? Part 34. And then, and then this lady, excuse me, excuse me, trying to get around her, but the girl is just so into it. She into it, you know what I'm saying? And she then while she's poking her butt, Oof. and then the lady's like trying to go around her, and then the lady like kind of trips on her a little bit, and then the little girl's like, oh my God, oh my God. And she kind of like still trying to dance a little bit, like she's focused. And you know what? I think of it as like... Children who are playing a game and maybe they're like focused on trying to get the ball to the other side that they miss the person that's running and the person gets hit in the head. With yeah. The ball. That's how I equate it. Except with the phone and twerking. Like, I'd rather you hit the lady with the ball than with your butt. Yeah. Why is your booty poking out? That's when I knew. When I seen it in real life. I said, yeah. That app gotta go. Cause when did we decide that you can just act like a monkey hoodlum anywhere? <laughs> Uncle Rocky <Ruckus, Richie. laughs> Relax. <laughs> they just act like hoodlums anywhere nowadays. They the let anybody in. And you know what? And these 13 year olds walking out the house in these bonnets. I know you want to look like yeah. your mama, but your mama ain't don't make no money. So stop trying to follow in her footsteps. Yeah, and they they still be commenting on that bond when we be doing. They, they do? be trying to defend it. Like, dude, first of all, I got you understand. I understand why it's wrong because we see white girls in their pajamas all the time. However, the the point is the bonnet do look ratchet though. Mm-hmm. It do look ratchet. It don't make it right. And they be trying to wear them to school and everything. Talking about some. I'm trying to protect my hair. Boy, bye. In the bed. What are Boy, you bye. You, you protect it while you're sleeping, and when you're not around people, so it looks good in it's public. That, it's, that, it's that they don't want it. They don't want to do their hair. They lying. They ain't uh, protected in nothing. They protect their eyes because they don't know how to put a comb to that scalp. That's what it is. That's what it is. But. Back yeah, ban TikTok. So I didn't even, you know, you know what's so crazy about this? Yeah. I didn't even answer the question about the Holly. You did it. I don't know how we got out of the weeds. I, just Keith Lee. All the right. op. So just let's just close this one out. Your favorite thing from I'm gonna get my okay. Cumber cookie. I'm taking, I'm taking <laughs> you go loud. But it's for real though. So I'm taking crumble cookie. Okay. Because it's not as sweet. <laughs> dead, dead. <laughs> Santa Holly could just be kind of sweet. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We just, the whole beginning of this episode, for no reason, by the way, 
<laughs> no, but well, listen though, I love me some Cineholic. However, I just I eat I can eat crumble cookie like throughout the day. Now crumble yeah. cookie, let me get you clear. Let me let me clear the air. Okay. Crumble cookie can be and it is sweet, but you know my flavor. That semi sweet chocolate chip with the lightly salted flakes on there. That is my business, and I can eat that because that's semi sweet and it's got the salt on top to to counteract it. What that salt I, on the top? Of it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Salt and chocolate chip cookie, crazy. It's crazy. We went. To, we went it's to Utah. Stupid. Who invented it, we bro? Went, we went to Utah, bro. Oh no, we went to Arizona, uh-huh. and they had the Dutch Bros. All right, there's sometimes they are exclusive items. Mm-hmm. They got chocolate chip cookies there with salt on it. That yeah. they was fire. It was fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. Bro. I love me some salted chocolate chip cookies, and I can. And so I can eat that like with my lunch, like Cineholic. I'm only really eating that when we go up here. To like a restaurant, we sit down, we finish up, and I save a little bit of room, and I go hit that Cineholic before bed on a weekend. Yeah, like I can't eat a Cineholic just regular, like oh, and on my lunch break, it's Tuesday, it just, it's too sweet. <laughs> it's Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? Cineholic time. Cineholic is the equivalent of like alcohol. Yeah, like you're not really doing it when the sun is up. <laughs> <laughs> There's only sweets in the dark, so I can see it, bro. You like, tear it up. <laughs> it all, but, but crumble, you know, crumble. Hands I don't get no, no I don't get no, I don't get no, um, no shame with eating no crumble. I, I could crumble me a cookie any day. I feel it. Now this spot right here, um, what we are ops of is what's this spot called, baby? The one that they be having this cussing on there and stuff. They say not no crumbly egg cookies on there. What is Whoa. it called? Cookie plug. Cookie plug. Op. Yeah, true. It's so ghetto. I, I would have seen it. But I, w- I went up in there. We tr- we tried to try it a couple times, a handful of times. We tried. We're trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. Trying to help black business right? out. It's not a black business. Oh, gosh. It is a, it's actually a chain owned oh. by Caucasian folk trying to appeal to us. <sighs> Y'all don't even talk like us. You they know what I'm saying? They, they be like, they're, our cookies are thick with three C's. Like, no, they just, what? Y'all just stack dough. What are you talking about? And they be like, mom's approved. They got purple drink and they put it in the lean cup. Like the and they double the cup and everything. Like that's You're what? Capping, bro. That's not white people. And I can't believe you. It's disgusting. Yeah, because they're trying to feed on us, bro. They, and this is what they think of us. They think that we just fake drink lean. It's insane. <laughs> they just that's insane. And I hate that they be like mom approved. And they yeah they have the weed stuff on there, but they try to like they're oh trying God. to make it be edgy, but then say that it's for kids. That's freaking crazy. Yeah. And yes, it's these Caucasian folks are trying to take advantage of us. Whole time. Yes. Whole time, or our blood pressure but she just and blood sugar is high. Yeah. So not only is you pushing bad culture, you pushing, bro. It's just crazy. I don't know. So like we're gonna we're gonna target the black people. So we're gonna give you guys purple drink in a lean cup. <laughs> put wheat here. These ain't no crumbly egg cookies, and they put it in the crumble box. So why is it pink? Why is the pink crumble box? If you gonna say no, no crumbly egg cookies. Yeah. And so why did I mention them? Oh, it's Gator, bro. We walked up in there, and they, it seemed like they was looking at the menu just like we was. We was like, you know, what I'm saying, can I just get these three cookies? And they're like, which ones? It's like. But what's that one that one? I'm like, I just asked you. What do you mean? And then Close. and then she didn't know she didn't know how to like put the order in correctly. So she called the manager. She's like, is we doing this promotion or not? What you is you on FaceTime with your manager right now? Oh my gosh. You're on FaceTime with the store manager right now? Hey, whole time, whole time. That's a part of the gimmick. <laughs> like my <laughs> they trying to make it hood. They like, oh, we're gonna get them the real uh <laughs> corner store experience. It's like Dick's, uh that restaurant where they didn't mean to you. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I don't yeah, I just don't get how it's not programmed to the machine, the coupon. She's like, so what should I charge him? And she's like, okay, I'm gonna put the numbers in. So I can charge him. Like you didn't even ring me up. Like this is that you, there's no way their taxes are correct. So IRS, if y'all want somebody to audit, definitely look at them. Oof. Definitely look at them. And you know what? Y'all give me a cut. <laughs> if y'all if you know what I'm saying, how much they do, they do that? Me? They do do that. I heard they do do that. You can report somebody and they give you a little. little so, wait, wait. What, you, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean by so, that? So, if I report somebody. If you report somebody, they, I heard. It's just hearsay. Well, you know, you, you know, you were Uncle Tom, so you know, you'd be knowing about stuff like this. <laughs> you, you feel me? They got okay, okay. okay. They'll come and so, give you a little, so, little fee. So, check this out. So, I find somebody that's probably not doing their taxes right. You feel me? I snitch on them. You, you text the hotline. And they give me a cut. You text the hotline and they'll confirm it. You for real? And, it, and if they fi- if it finds out they that find it's some, real, they might give you a little. Ah. I could tell you for a fact, Crumble ain't doing their taxes right. They probably can't even spell tax. Crumble or I mean, Crumbly egg uh, cookies, uh, 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 cookie plug. Yeah, cookie plug. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, why is you in here? <laughs> what was you in here for though? She live audience, bro. But baby, what is you in here for though? Oh God. I'm gonna try in a moment. Oh my gosh. All right. We talk about sweet things. 
Stop and nothing is more Easter. sweeter this, than my this. God. Hallelujah. Shando, Jesus. Easter is on Sunday. And, is uh, it really? Elevation. Elevation. It is, bro. It's coming up quick. Elevation Church. Heroes. Is Bum, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, Listen, bro. Da, ba, da, ba, ba. Listen, bro. If we don't get this together, we're going to hell. Elevation Church. <laughs> <laughs> Elevation Church. Elevation Church is in some controversy because they are thinking about leaving out some important details about Jesus' death and resurrection for new people coming to the church. I ain't going to lie, bro. You're gassing it. Am I? Yeah, you are. All right, let's watch this that video. That is not what they said. Let's watch this video real quick. That is not what they said. <laughs> let's watch this video real quick. You feel me? I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I'm not glazing, but you know what I'm saying? I'm that not, is not what they said. I won't get with you. I was kind of going off the head because I forgot the story. I saw this video like a week ago. Just when I thought that the shenanigans could not get any more severe within the church, I am once again unfortunately proven wrong. It looks like Elevation Church has opted to not say the word resurrection on their Easter invites. Uh, the words also include Calvary and the blood of Jesus. The digital content director for Elevation said the following, for us, the most important thing on Easter is inviting people to church. This means reaching people far from God. So we're not going to use the words Calvary, resurrection, or the phrase, the blood of Jesus. We won't use language that will immediately make someone feel like an outsider. In other words, we want to water down the meaning of the gospel so that it is easier to stomach to the non-believer. What you do to get somebody to walk into church is what you're going to have to keep doing to keep them in church. If the word resurrection is too alienating for an invite, what makes you think that they're going to sit through a 30-minute sermon about the resurrection, which is what I hope you're going to be talking about? Wow, so this is why people should just stop giving their opinions when they're stupid. Like, I just don't feel like non-pastors should be giving pastoral opinions. Um, okay, so let's, this, there's a lot of meat in that in that video. You're guessing it because they never said they're not going to emphasize the resurrection. They're going to just talk about it in the um, in the service. Okay. So what's what's wrong with getting people to church, regardless of how you do it? He claims, well, you got to keep doing that. Okay. Have you ever went to go try a new restaurant because you get 50% off your first meal? You ever had that before? Mm -hmm. Like you had a coupon, you know what I'm saying? You go yeah. try it. I got a coupon. <coughs> you didn't expect the same coupon every time you went. If somebody was like, hey, man, you know, just come try it. First one's free. You're like, well, second one, third one, fourth one should be free too. Mm -hmm. No, you got the first one free to get you in the door. This one got you in the room, right? Mm -hmm. It's the gimmick that gets you in the room. The marketing team is not the pastoral team, bro. What that marketing team is doing to fill them seats is on the marketing team. And that's good. That's why I don't even, I'm not even against people doing third party marketing teams. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me just call this marketing company to come and just do our stuff. They don't matter if we're, if we're showing a strip or a church, they're going to just market us the same to get people there. They know our brand's values. They're not going to disrespect, you know, the brand. They're not going to be cussing on banners and stuff. But whatever, going to get people in the door. So our job, he said, our job is not to fill seats. It's to make disciples. Well, you know what? Where do you think the disciples come from? And if numbers didn't matter, Jesus wouldn't have mentioned that he fed the 5,000. He would have said he fed the people. How many you feed? A lot of them. No, nah, bro was like, five thou, five thou. He was Big flexing. Five K. He was flexing. Man for man. He, he wanted every, for disciples. He wanted everybody to know how many he was really out there helping. Crap, crap. So, you know, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm I'm sorry, but it ain't nothing wrong with getting people in church. That's 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 our goal. Mm. That's our goal. And if you if you just have decided in your own head that like uh it's just to it's to build disciples, that's stupid. Where do you think they're gonna come from? No, oh, they just never have to. That, 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 that even, I don't even know how to address that. That didn't make no sense. Mm. It's not our job to fill seats. It's our job to make disciples. Okay, mm. that's what churches with five members say. Like, yeah, that's how they. That's how they justify staying so small. Uh, do you think that there's a there? He made a difference between. I think he made a difference between filling seats and building disciples. Like filling seats is just like people in the door, like them, them club people had to be handing out stuff on the strip. I think that's what he equates filling what seats you, to them you, building disciples. Bro, what do you gain from going to church? Mm. For it to be like, like, oh, you know, you know, the patty's gonna be there. Like, it's a mess of people, but was anybody really, really saying like, oh, I'm just going to church just to smoke? Mm. Like, uh, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna get turned a little bit. I'm gonna drink a little, smoke a little, song. You know, what I'm saying get in the bag. You know, what I'm saying I might even leave with a with a baddie. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. You know, you're going to church to go listen to Lord, I lift your name on high. <laughs> so no. Like, you know what I'm saying? And whether you go in to have a real worship experience or not, it, it really doesn't matter. That's not our job. Our job is to introduce you to Christ. Like, you know what I'm saying? What does he say about the vine? Uh, it's not coming to me. He's the vine. We're the branches. It's his job. It's Jesus' job to provide it. We're just there to be the first touch. Mm-hmm. I'm just your first, I'm your first touch point. And it's Jesus' job to to get you to do the rest. I'm not trying to convince you. Yeah. I gotta just get you in here. I'm trying to convince you to pull up to the church. Hey bro, pull up to church on Sunday. Hey bro, listen to the word. Hey bro, read your Bible. I'm supposed to translate mm-hmm. everything for you and tell you how this scripture speaks to you. Mm-hmm. That doesn't make no sense. So we're, it's not our job to build. The, it really is not our job to build disciples. Like, yeah. I, that doesn't even make sense to me. Like it's our job to go out. That's what he said. Mm-hmm. He is called it? us. He called us to carry our cross. And mm-hmm. come on. So you say, come you on, say it's not our job to build disciples. To build them. So what about well, like the Great Commission? Like when he, yeah, that's what I was gonna yeah. say. Like maybe it is like to to build. But just the way that he was saying, like, it's not our job to, like, fill them. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to use, like, words without just using synonyms. Like, it may be our job to to train them and equip them. Like, but it's not our job to fill them up. Like, we're not the Holy Spirit. Like, it's our job to introduce them yeah. to the option. It's our job to, like, say, this is what it can look like. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what you should do. Like, but it's their job to go and do it. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the whole point of salvation. That is the entire, the entire point of grace. Yeah. That's why grace works. And that's why grace is so unabounding. Abounding? Abounding? His grace abounds. Does his grace abound? Yeah, his grace abounds. Abounding, huh? But I said unabounding. Oh. His grace is... De abounding. Her grace, his grace is hecka. It's hecka much. It's, he- it's hecka much. It's hecka like way, way, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? It's glazing. Nah, <laughs> not that one. <laughs> his grace is glazing. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> no, but that's why it's so, that's why it's so much and that's why it can constantly work yeah. is because it's like, we're not doing anything to deserve it, but we have to accept it. Like we're not doing anything to really have earned it, but we got to take it. Though. Mm-hmm. So. so, but do you feel like them not mentoring things like resurrection and Calvary? And they said they don't want people to feel like outsiders. Do you feel as though that it, that is watering down the gospel? No, because that's not what, bro. This billboard is not the gospel. Mm. What? That's how many people that just that just spend money to say like Jesus is coming back and they put it on the billboard. Wow, thank you. Who do you think cares about that billboard? People who already knew God. Mm. Nobody who does not. They're saying I don't believe in God. I hate God. He killed my mom and my daddy never loved me. Like I'm not. I got. I wanted to do God. They're gonna look at Jesus coming back. Wow. But that's even worse. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm saying like the opposite coming. The opposite about to pull around the block. Why would I be excited for that? Why would I be excited for the op pulling around the block? <laughs> Man, because the op is pulling up is crazy. <laughs> oh, oh no, that's funny, God. bro. That's funny. No but yeah, way. so they, they're not they're not really with that, bro. Mm-hmm. But I'm just thinking like people, people who need it. Like, what would they respond to? They might respond to an Easter service like I could just imagine some lost souls who remember going to church with their grandma every Easter. Mm-hmm. I remember Resurrection Sunday, where we go and receive the blood of Christ. Like, they, what? They don't know what that means, but just the the nostalgia thing of Easter. I remember my grandma making me go to church every Easter. Let me go see what this is about, mm-hmm. and then see like just imagine, imagine them coming down at the end of service to go and get that prayer. What? Who cares why they came in there? Mm-hmm. Like, who cares? Even if they came in there because it was a big booty girl in there. Like, who cares? Yeah, they could have been anywhere else. Who cares? I, I don't get that. I don't get that about Christians. They say you should only come if you... That that literally says be perfect before you get here. Like, why are mm. we seeking perfect members? People who already love Jesus because we have the gospel. That's gatekeeping. That is gatekeeping. Yeah. Well, we're not going to water it down. Like, imagine speaking in thee, thy, thine, and if you don't understand, then thou shalt not come into church. <laughs> Just imagine. Yeah. That's that's what it is. It's saying if you don't read the King James, you're not making it into heaven. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? I can't even barely read. Uh-huh. Let me just get, you know what I'm saying? It's like saying if you if you listen to the audible, you can't make it in. It just doesn't, it's gatekeeping. Yeah. I know we, we talked it's about. It's gatekeeping. <laughs> we talked about a certain church in Vegas. Which one? Central. <laughs> <laughs> about like how, how sometimes they're. It's their their word isn't advanced, is it? Right. Isn't, you know, up to a uh, mm. up to a certain person's speed. Like, right. Yeah, it's right, right, my right, speed. Right, 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 I'm, right, I'm ready for something else. Right, 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 right. Do you feel as though that they're they're dumbing it down? Then who? 
uh, elevation. Yeah, elevation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Elevation is central. Yeah. They they're central. That's exactly what they're doing. There you go. Now central be bringing the camel, so that's just different, bro. They <laughs> be bringing that camel. Bro, be gassing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just be up there gassing it for no reason, bro. Yeah, but you, the you saw the camel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you still you saw the cross mahogany. Yeah. But but <laughs> elevation elevation is central. They're the same thing. Yes, they are dumbing it down. But like, who's their? Excuse me. Who's their audience? And then two, central has a lot, a lot, a lot of people who are 16, 17, and 18 there. And I don't know their numbers. But from what I know, I know a lot of people who were in high school, they just got their license and they were driving down to Central themselves. Mm-hmm. My mama don't really go to church. My daddy, he used to pray for us when I was real little, but he, he stopped when my grandmama died. And you know what? I just want to go to Central. And I have friends up there and I go to Starbucks after and we take selfies. And you know what? Like going to church for Starbucks is not really what you should. That's not like kingdom behavior. However, that's how you're going to get a 16-year-old there and it becomes a habit. And then they start saying, I, I kind of miss church. Oh, you know what? I, I think I need a girl. Like I met I met a guy now. He goes to a different church. Let me go try that church out. Mm-hmm. And, oh, I remember that kind of, I remember learning that stuff at church. And it never was this deep, but like I'm learning, I'm growing now. Like Central is a starter church. Especially like I'm saying, because of those girls and guys who don't who just got their car. I say girls because I know a lot of girls who did this. Like it's a, it's just a whole aesthetic. So let's stick on girls for a little bit. Like it's a whole aesthetic <laughs> for these teenage girls to get their car with they when they got the little puff puff thing on their key yeah. and they're going taking a picture of their bible study and their starbies while they're in at at youth group and like their mom and their dad don't really care like they don't really care about church so they're going on their own instead of going to a club that why is that wrong mm-hmm. like you know what i'm saying i just wish we would keep it as that and stop acting like central is like the church like the but like for that like that's yeah. it's amazing for that same with elevation mm-hmm. like they're gonna get all these um tumblr girls there for easter this is what what's wrong with that would it be the beautiful Nah. Was that a vape? That was a. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are they in the East Singing Church? What a beautiful name it is! Anybody have a charger for my blinker? It takes USB C. Yeah, it's a bad charger. It was a tumbler. <laughs> I meant to be a tumbler. That was a Stanley. It was a tumbler. <laughs> Oh my gosh! All right, so what? Well, I'm, and this is why this kind of speaks to like how it would be tough to be a leader. Like this is why passing to get judged more because I making these decisions makes me anxious. Like I make the wrong decision about leaving what which words out of which sermon to make it uh, digestible for one people. And I go to heaven. He's like, no, 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 no. Use my use a use a cinnamon synonym. Ah, I didn't yeah. want you to use that death. Yeah. Ah. yeah. So I think I think the biggest thing is like you can you can you know. Make it more digestible for the yeah. masses, as long as you're not lying right. and you're not disgracing God. Mm-hmm. If you're not doing those things, it's good. I would. I remember like interacting with some people who told me like they didn't like the way that I would tell stories on the bus because you know I was tell stories, Bible stories on the uh, bus. Yeah, you know and you know were like you would set them in like hood, like you know what so what I'm saying? the boy Paul. You so feel me? Boom. So boom. You know what I'm saying? No pulled up, and he was like, "Yo, I gotta build the whip. That's what God told me to do." <laughs> he was like, "But guess what? I got bad news. Only two of each of y'all could come." And they was like, they started scrapping over it. They was like, "Who's really finna go?" And then I was like, "You know what I'm saying? All y'all ain't finna go." So y'all gotta figure that out in between y'all, bro. But all I know is when I pull up in seventeen days, yeah. y'all better be right here waiting because we got four days and forty nights of water. So my thing is just like, what the fish do? But we can talk about that later. Because mm-hmm. like, did he really like make the fi- wait? Nah, I think the animals. Well, the I think the fish survived. I think the fish survived. How are you gonna get no. the fish? They drown the fish. That's what I'm saying. But only two animals survived. That's fact. But Not how animal. do you, how do you put? We'll talk about that later. Huh. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Bro built a fish tank. I'm ta- I'm telling you. Bro had to like build a box for the fish to drown. Reverse drown in. Oh, wow. He supposed to have killed all the fish. He supposed to have all the animals. Out. Or there was no fish back at that time. Anyway. That don't even make sense scientifically, though. We'll talk about that later. But anyway, Oof. so you know I used to tell my stories on that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to just. Hey. That's a, that's a question I gotta ask. Where the, where the fish go? That's bad. I need some. You know this is stressful. This is stressful. <laughs> I, need, I don't even want to open my mind when I close my mind. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> so I remember just somebody telling me like they didn't like the way that I would tell stories. They they told me that they felt it was blasphemous. Yeah. Because I'm taking away of the from the uh, what do they say like, like the essence. The, what is like when you like the, the the holiness? But what's the other word like? The holiness. Whatever they they would say like divinity. The no, like the the sanctification, whatever it is. Yeah. But they would say you're like you're taking away from the holiness and the sanctification of Paul. Like 
Paul has some level of like holiness on him, and and Mary, like you, ha- you're taken away from that. Yeah, yeah, that's Catholic talk. Yeah, exactly. Like you're praying <laughs> to Mary, and you know, I, I, and I, honestly, I felt like regardless if you felt like I'm taken away from it or not, like it's making somebody to understand, and that's the problem. Like we're talking about some, hey, you got to learn math. It's like, well, so can you help me, like baseball term? Like, so if I had two baseballs, I took away. No, 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 no. You have two. <laughs> okay, but yeah, you mean like two, um, t- two Pokemon cards? No, 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 two, and then add two. It's like how many you have? It's like, but you mean like two, two basketball? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. That's what we're saying, dude. Yeah, that's what we're saying, dude. All, all, bro, did was like, hey, for the Instagram post, you know, we're gonna spend probably about fifty thousand dollars on Facebook ads. What would probably be best for the budget is if we omit the word resurrection because it's too big. Let's just stick to Easter because most people know what that is. Mm-hmm. And everybody like, oh, my God, blasphemy, blasphemy. They don't believe he rose. He did not rise. <laughs> like, no, we just use a different word. <laughs> it's like, bro. We're not saying resurrection. We just say bro got up. It's <laughs> like, bro, you don't, they don't know about optimizing for retention. Like you know what I'm saying? That's, that's a whole other thing, bro. SEO. When pastors be, I'm sorry, but I'm going there. When pastors be acting like they need the whole sermon to go on a reel, and then people come and they be like, "Oh, you water down the gospel, Negro." It's a clip. <laughs> it's a clip. Go watch the full sermon if you care that much about the word. Go watch the full hour and a half sermon. He was up there yapping. He mentioned 37 scriptures. You talk about something you ain't really preaching. I know my pastor, they be talking about, about that. Go watch it. Go watch it. He saw his, his references. This is a 15 second clip of him saying, you know, you can do it. You can get anywhere that you want because God has your back. They be like, mm, prosperity. Prosperity gospel. What? So was he lying? <laughs> what? Go cite the references. He saw it. Go watch it. Don't get me started, bro. Don't get me started. Because that they be acting like, oh, dude. man, whatever. <sighs> you take it from here. Look, look, look. It's tough. We talk about watering down stuff and using different words. That kind of remind me of like the Gen Z Bible. Have you seen that? No. It's like, so it's a Bible, but it's it's in Gen Z speak. So it mm-hmm. uses like their slang or describe it. So that kind of brings it to our topic about this new slang. Oh, I don't want to talk about new slang. It's stupid. This new slang is different. It's stupid. And I feel old. It's stupid. <laughs> I, it makes me sad because like I really like they be saying stuff now and I don't understand it. Back in high Bro. school, but they would say something, I would I just latch on. I knew like even and if then, I never heard it before, I wouldn't know what it meant. Like you just use context. I can't use the, I just using context clues. Bro. I can't use context clues anymore. So our gen our new generation doesn't understand ebonics. <sighs> I feel like no. Ebonics is really a language. Mm-hmm. So like even in English, if you don't know a word. If you can speak English, you can put together what that word meant. Context clues. Ebonics is the same way. Like, why would a word, usually words that start with D, the letter D, means undo. It happens to be that D-E is a prefix that means undo. But usually it means like reverse, the the regression of something. Mm -hmm. You want an example? You got defrost, Mm -hmm. defreeze, right? Mm -hmm. Disaster. It's regression. It's never progression mm-hmm. to demean you, to desire yeah. to deter it's always a regression like that's just the way english works am i being too nerdy no you go okay so, wear it down <laughs> <laughs> so and that's in english even in ebonics we have the same style of pacing between our letters and our our tones like you could put stuff together this new generation they didn't catch on yeah motion Motion? I don't know. I know what it means now. It means to have money. But to me, it didn't sound like money. It meant you got it going on. It's not like you made moves. It's not like, you know, I got motion. That means like, you know what I'm saying? I make moves. I got girls. I got the crib. I got the car. It just sound like I got motion. It's stuff moving. Yeah. Not literally just I have money. Like, why can't I say I got motion and that means I got the girls at the crib? Mm-hmm. It should mean the same thing, but that's based on ebonics, mm-hmm. not based on these idiots who can't even read. Yeah, no, it's it, sorry, yeah, children. <laughs> we, we talk, they're like, "Hey, I mean, I can't read, but I go to CCSD." <laughs> I, I, we we talk about we talked about like how some black things should stay in black culture, and it's like now that I'm seeing like black culture is like bleeding into white people. I really, yeah. really, really, really noticed it when white people started getting more comfortable, like uh-huh. like uh, copying black people. So right. there's this one dude, he was like, uh, "How how how uh, how white people chill at the crib." 
And it's just him <clears throat> reading a book on his phone. And it's like, how black people to the crib that day? Smoke alarm. Yeah. <laughs> start beeping. And it started getting comfortable. And they started making, okay, we can make slang too. Mm-hmm. And now it all started to mesh together. And now we instead of like getting like well put together slang, now we just got this jumbled Gayat. up mess. Gigat. <sighs> Gigat. What is a Gigat? What is a Gigat? Man, man. I don't man. know what that means. And glazing was made by a white person. Okay. Glazing, for sure, for sure. Glazing? You're glazing. Are you serious? Every time I hear glazing, you know what I think of? What? Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Am I fat? Am I? Because they be like, <laughs> bro, you're glazing. I'd be like, I'm sweet. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, I just, I think maybe I'm just old. I'm not even that old, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> you're glazing. Like, I was just at school a couple years ago. But, like, it just, it's, it's. It doesn't make sense. I'm like, hey, bro, you're glazing. Like, it's, it doesn't seem like it means something bad. Yeah. Like, they'll be like, bro, you're glazing. I'm like, thank you. Like, yeah, <laughs> it, seems like you, oh, it seems like you, it seems like it means you're sweet. Yeah. But I don't know, bro. I don't but know what no. they be talking about. So. I said, I said this new slang is now just like a sanitized TikTok version of it. Because you know, like on TikTok, we can't say certain words yeah. or it's not going to go viral. So all the words that they were using, like, okay, I can't say d right and I can't say d d eating. So, mm. uh you know, glazing because it's yeah. sliver. You know, no, I think sure. they. Was, I think they was just trying to like make stuff up. I think like unalive. Unalive. People for say sure, unalive for sure. in real life. I didn't mm-hmm. know that. They're like, bro, I'm gonna unlive you. So when I learned people were saying that kind of stuff in real life, I think it's because they didn't know why TikTokers were saying unalive. Yeah. they did it. You know what I'm saying? Is that was but, a funny thing. But like, a no, lot no, of a lot of stuff just comes from the internet. Chat. Chat. Oh <sighs> These kids with this chat. W chat. Like they be talking to one person, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? They they literally be like, I literally be like, hey, um, student, uh, you know, you got an F on your paper. <sighs> L chat, L. What? No, you. I'm a grown man. <laughs> Who are you calling chat? I am a grown man. Now come sit down and sign this paper. So I call you mama. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, L chat? Oh chat L. For real chat. It literally, a kid told me he was. I was like, "Yeah, you got an F on that." No, 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 no. A kid came up to me. He was like, "How can I get my grade up, Mister Burgers?" And I said, "You can't. The quarter ended last week." And he's like, "L chat." I'm like, "Bro, let's get on somewhere. You're not at your speed." He was like, "Is he serious, chat? Is he serious? Who are you talking to? It is three of us in this room, and that girl is over there crying in the corner. Who are you talking to?" This and they make me concerned. Like it, it makes me concerned. Are you schizophrenica? They're schizophrenica? They say they're schizophrenica, bro. They are. And so we I want to want to go through our slang yeah. versus their new slang. Okay, right. so one you didn't put on the list. So what what I, what I didn't have. Running game. Running game. That's top tier our slang. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Our sl- I really feel like our slang <laughs> transcends any generation's slang. Mm-hmm. And I mean that like clearly objectively. Like 90s was probably the best, and then we came. I think we just started like bah, bah, we started bah, throwing bah, 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 You know what I'm saying? We had because yeah. don't forget we got W W Y D. Like that's still our slang. We don't say that. LOL is ours. On you say LOL out loud. LOL. Maybe not you, but you know pe- people say it out loud. Yeah. That's us. We got I'm dead. That was us. We I'm have dead. top tier slang. They can't say that on TikTok. They, it, they were like, I'm not alive. I'm not alive. Like yeah. you're, you're lame, L J L J. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like 90s was really it because bomb. Bomb, like that's the bomb. We like, the, oh my god, it's the bomb. Come that's, on now. So that was '90s, mm-hmm. and then I feel like what they had. Yeah, '90s. '90s was cool. Mm-hmm. I feel like '90s transition to us it was a handshake. Hey, they they shook us. They shook it. Hey, here's a baton. You know what I'm saying? Pass it on. Now they said us, bomb. No, we said we said. You know what? We had a. It's tight. That's tight. That's, that's tight. tight. That's tight. That's tight. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they said that's dope. That's dope. We said I do crack. I don't know about that one. What, just me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that but we one. But we still say dope, bro. Say dope. Oh my dope, God. dope is everlasting. That would never end, bro. Be like, word. Word is still there. That's still... So 90s really, really gave us... They gave us a they kickstart for sure. Cooking, bro. And we really... We took the baton gracefully, gave our respect to our elders, the millennials. You feel me? Took over. And then we said, we, that's fire. You know? Boom. That's fire. That's lit. Boom. Boom. Oh my God. Come on now. What else we had? We over here getting turned. Boom. Oh, oh my God. God. And we still say turn, bro. We That's my thing. Turn. Like, we don't ever be like, like our slang is not going to die out, bro. We be like, oh yeah, that's lit. Like, and you might be, before it was like, oh yeah, we're litty. Like when it was the first coming yeah, out. Like, ah. But now, but now it's like, it's just natural. It's just lit. Oh, that's what getting lit, bro. We ain't, we ain't really mess with them. Nah, 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 nah. You know nah, what I'm nah, saying? Nah. I'm going to go Mac on these girls real quick. <laughs> Mac? I'm going to go Mac. 
Mac, Where did run, come game, from? run, run game, game, spit game, roast, <sighs> flame. What they got now? What they got now? They have cook. Is it? Do they use cook for they that? They say cook. They say cook. Come on, we had roast. You digressed. We cook. No, no, roast. <laughs> Flamed. Oh my God, bro! I'm like, flaming you. We cook. Like, come on. We we lightly saute. Like, well, I'm a cookie. <laughs> this is cooking. They say they say barbecue, but that that's like bro, it's so lame. Way bro. too many syllables. I'm going to barbecue you. Please stop. Get on somewhere, little Timmy. Too Go finish trying to get your homework on that's, time. That's like that's like a movie being like, "Yo, our first movie did fire. Let's make a sequel." Yeah, and a sequel is like the worst thing in the yeah, world. It's exactly. Come, please, come on, bro. On a barbecue. Cook. What's, what else we got? Uh, oh my gosh, we had uh, what's another one? If like, ah, uh, I'm trying to think, think of the scenarios, bro. It's really the scenarios that we say it in. Our, yeah, yeah. Our slang is just so. Go ahead, go ahead. We had you killed it. You killing it. You killed that. Now they yes. have you ate. No, 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 no. Nah. You ain't that. Yeah. You killed. Okay, wait. I gotta give. I gotta give props where props is due. What's up? I think this was our generation. However, it's. We passing the baton to these losers. Okay. And they're taking it and stomping on it. What is it? Not, I'll give it to them. But I think it's us. They be like, that's four plus, you four plus four. What is that? You eight. <laughs> you don't like that way? You don't like that way? Uh, it's clever, but I got to do math for that one. That's uh, too many syllables, too uh, many steps to get there. Bro, you know what you're doing? You four plus four. You know four. what you're doing right now, what? bro? You glazy. <laughs> you glazy, bro. Nah, bro. You four plus four? Bro, I like no. that one. I like that one. I'm telling you. My students don't say that. They, hey, hey, and that's the thing, too, bro. My students, they know that they're so cool, and they really be saying, Mr. Burgers, you, what you say? You can't say that. Like, you're you're old. I'm like, bro, I've been on the slate before, y'all. Like, I'm we saying made this like, I'm saying something they don't even know about yet. So, like, I'd be like, not, I'd be like, keep it on the low, and I'm going to wait until they figure it out. I'm like, oh, yeah, I've been do that one. My, you just mind me. Hmm. Low key. <sighs> Low key was on on God was that us? On oh God was definitely us. That might have been before us. O N G was us. They probably said it in the past, the nineties. Mm-hmm. They passed up the time. We just turned to O N G. On me for sure for sure. On me, on me, and then here you go. On me, on my side, on my side. No 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 no, just on me. On me. I know about soul. It's on me. My soul has everlasting life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't be bruising it that long. Like now you're drinking. y'all not thinking too far in the future. It's these eleven year olds. They're like and my soul. Yeah. For life, I'll yeah. never mess with you. That's their friends it, next week. Like <laughs> it was just all your soul. That's what they said. They were like, "No, we got, we got, we got." They killed it. Yeah. We flamed. We roast. They were like, "Oh, okay." We we on my soul. Oh, my soul. But then someone left it start floating. No, 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 no. My soul. Keep it down. They'd be like, Too far. Oh, "Girl, I never get you with you." Oh my soul. And they're literally friends the next day. <laughs> oh my soul. Now look at you. You're never making it into heaven. Ever, You're ever, never ever. gonna get it, bro. You're gonna be seven for. Ever. ever you're speedy you're speedy of heaven for life ever bro at least, crazy, at least when i die bro. i just don't go to heaven maybe you know like, it's all me on my flesh on my flesh on my flesh i'm preserving the soul we ain't know about that you know what i'm saying i don't know you feel me we was the first one to say put that on song we was the first one to say, put, put that, that on, on something that's a good one bro put it on song put that on something oh, what that mean hey ten toes ten toes down that's us Definitely. Hey, Definitely you know what? I gotta give it to us, bro. But, but I, what? What? Standing on business. Standing on business. That's us. That is us. Drew, Drewski, that's Drewski is Drewski. us. That's us. Drewski is us, that's bro. Us. Y'all are clowns. I have I have beef with every 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, 15, 16, 17 year old, bro. In the whole world. Bro, in the whole world, I have beef with Ooh. all of you guys. Y'all don't know nothing, bro. I don't they know. They had the audacity to tell me that our generation was not the best generation. We were the first YouTubers. You were. Our generation was the first YouTubers, bro. What do you mean? We run this world. That's so true. What are you talking about? And their their slang just dies out, bro. It dies we, out. It's 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 literally TikTok. Like TikTok, TikTok mm-hmm. slang. It dies out. The, 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 the trend is good for like a couple weeks, maybe if it's lucky, a couple months. Right. Like who's saying Riz anymore? It's not cool to say Riz. It's not. That that one video dropped where uh, the dude was like, you know, somebody and he that little fat boy, he was like, This is W Riz over here. That's when it died. Yeah. You can't say it in real life. Right, 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 right. Don't say it in real life. Come oh, on. What you still in my school? Huh? My student, I'm t- t- tell my student to Riz. To Riz? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We yeah, make fun but, of them, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, exactly. yeah, Riz, Crash Out's about to die. Crash Out never should have lived. Crash Out's about to crash die. Crash Out and Crash Out. <sighs> washed. That's gonna die. Washed. Yeah. Meta. Meta? They, they say that? Like, that's the meta. 
That's a, that that's LA here. slang though. Get that out of here. Um, <sighs> what else they say? Say Riz, crash out, glazing. Uh, I gotta give it to us on the set. On the set. That's us. Put it on the set. On the set. For sure. For sure. <clears throat> we have uh, unlimited slang. We do. And it lasts. It lasts. It lasts. Forever. There's no way. The fact that turn and lit. Just turn alone because I remember like turn made it into the church. Turn made it into the church. Anything that makes it into the church is gonna die immediately. Yeah, you know what's made it into the church? That part. <sighs> them aunties love that one. They love them aunties that love that one. one. Bro. And usually anything that makes it into the church, like what aunties are saying, they be like, ah, oh, no, it ain't gonna last. And then Lecrae made that gospel song turn. Uh, uh, turn with my church, class, whatever he had. Yeah. And then you know, so we get turned up. But mm, so mm, I thought it was gonna mm. die. It never did, bro. Yeah, we turned. It's, it stayed forever. What else? What else can you say? When like the party is fire, yeah. everybody's dancing. What new slang do we have for like turn? The party's turn. The party turn up. What do we have? We finna turn up. What, what else? What? The, the, there's bro, nothing new. Crazy. There's we nothing turn new. Up so bad, like turned out for what? Mm-mm. Come on, we. It got, Bro, our slang blew up so big that Lil Jon was like, let's make an opposite of the song. <laughs> like, let's just, like, bro, we can't even talk about turning up the board. Let's talk about not turning down. It, we, let's it, focus on the antithesis. It, like, got, it got philosophical. Bro, it's crazy. Why should I turn Why down? Why should I turn down? As a matter of fact, I'm going to go so high that I should never turn down. <laughs> going up. Going up. Oh! And then going up even doubled up, bro, with uh, what they said, if it's up. If it's up. Is it up? Bro, uh, if it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. It's oh up. my god, bro, we have a limited slang. I don't like you, 10 year olds. Y'all don't know nothing. <laughs> we run this world, bro. There's just no way. There's oh just no god. way. Oh my god, Flex? Flex was. Oh my god. <sighs> what I got now? Uh, Flex, now they have. I don't even what know. What do they have? They have, they have, they have they a have, word for it. They have, I'm stupid? Like, I don't know. <laughs> what they have? Like, they're dumb, bro. I can't say it. This new generation. I'm telling oh you. Oh my god. Flex was us. Flex. Let me flex on you, bro. I'm flexing okay, I, on you. we gotta we gotta address the ones that did die though. What? This was both was due to Beyonce though. Mm-hmm. Slay and Fleek. Yeah, those died. Those died. They had to. I think those are our only two that died though. Every good artist has a bad Peyton. They were both Beyonce. Slay <laughs> and Fleek was Beyonce. Fleek was crazy. Fleek, Fleek was that was like a Vine thing, huh? It started on Vine. Yeah, uh, I brought on Fleek. Fleek. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you feel me? It died with Vine. It, it, it had a nice fine. run though. It, it was it, it was on Fleek. It, you know? nice it was a run. funny thing because what does Fleek mean? Yeah. Like that didn't mean anything. Fleek. I feel like it was like <laughs> I feel like the whole point of it was that anything can become slang. Yeah. And then you know what? It just was like that was funny. Anything can become slang. However, not anything can stay. Yeah, not slang. anything can stay slang. That's the word. Yeah. Anything can get into the club, but not anything gonna stay. Yeah, yeah. See, anything yeah. can make it into your life. Shabo. Amen. Anything can come to be around you, mm. but not everything can stay. No, no, no. Because you know when you go to the airport, getting past them. everybody can get into the door. Everybody can. Everybody get in. can go use the bathrooms. Can go through check in, but not everybody making it through security. Yeah, not because, everybody making it on that plane. Because uh, some people are meant to come in the door with you. Some people are meant to go through TSA with you, say, but not say everybody. It. Say only it. the few, only the couple can soar with you. Everybody can come in the door, but only a handful can soar. Everybody can enter, but only a handful can win. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't feel my help in here. Oh, my gosh. I'll be just preaching, bro. Bro, I should just start a church. Anybody can come in the door, but not everybody can soar. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm I'm going going up. up. If it's up, it's up. If it's up, then it's up. If it's up, then it's up. We literally were the first. It's crazy because we were the first YouTubers, bro. Like, and our generation is the mayor. Like, not the Vegas, but like, our we have mayors. Mm-hmm. Our generation, Baltimore mayor is about our age. Yeah. In our, so well, what was that millennials that started YouTube? Well, I mean, we're kind of grouping the same. Well, I like put kids. us. I put us right here, bro. It was in there. I put us right here because we was we we right there, bro. Can we be honest? Yeah. You got put us right there. I think so. For the most right part. There. We there. What is Fred? He is or he millennial? I was, I was thinking about that. I think Fred is like 30? How old is Smart he? millennial. Yeah, they're definitely millennials. Uh, I think any, any, any does, of the OGs. Bro. I think he's a think No, he's a not even any of the OGs. The ones who started young. Uh, Lily Singh, I guess. Mm-hmm. Who else? You know, like the Swoozies, the PewDiePies. The PewDiePie, he old. We going with us, bro. Mr. Beast. Come on, bro. I saw us. So we have Mr. Beast. And then we have people who are in, you know, we have politicians, mm. which are millennials, but we, 
We shook hands. We did. You know what I'm saying? We the started. link didn't leave. So, and then the, here's what I was telling them. I showed my students hot Cheetos and Takis. And they had the audacity to laugh at me. Oh my what God. is this? I'm sorry that the music is not mentioning twerking <laughs> and drugs. Hot Cheetos and Takis. Hot Cheetos and Takis. Got my fingers staying red from these hot Cheetos, Cheetos and Takis. Bow. Bow. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I showed them little Nico. Television love. I could be your Martin, you could be my Gina, I could be your Justin, you could be Selena. I put him on that that original Miss Mulatto. Yeah. Not this new Mulatto. Bow. At. Put your tongue in your mouth. <laughs> put your tongue in your mouth. You don't know about the young one. Yeah. I caught gonorrhea from you looking this way with that saliva. Jesus Christ. I don't know where you've been. Everywhere. I do know where you've been, actually. Sorry. <laughs> but I remember that old Miss Mulatto. Talk about some. I got a C R U S H O U crush on you crush on you. I got it. Hey, 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 death, death. Okay, bring it back down. Bring it back down. You t- no, oh, no, sorry. no. That that old oh, Miss Milano, you know what I'm saying? By the way, that's us. That's us! <laughs> but I don't claim her though. That's us though. Us, yeah. So so how she was a talkie, bro. What was the song with the um Sew it up, sew it up, so it don't fall out. I'm dead. So it, come on, bro. That's so niche though. That's so black. Like, well, this is Black People Fair Podcast. So we so basically I feel like we run the world. So our true. generation runs the world. Um uh, I'm sweating now. All that work that I just put in. <laughs> you just put in that work. I did, bro. For real, for real. I gotta go my stripper now. Cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> you got low too. I got low. You, you got see? low. I keep telling you I got Megan knees. You do have Megan. People knees, don't believe bro. me. I just don't use it no more because everybody think I'm gay. But I got Meganese. I mean, why would you use it? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm going to learn how to do splits. He is going to learn how to do splits. I got to see it, though. I'm going to learn, bro. Why? I might go practice right now after we finish. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Stretch out, bro. Come on. Don't check this man. You too recommended, bro. How to do splits? <laughs> <laughs> I just know random, random skills. How to do the splits is crazy. All right. Let's 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 leave this off with a bang. and we probably, Can we put the fan on? We're being, I got you not hot? No, Des. You're not for real. You're no. usually hot, bro. You're glazing. Des, Des, you just dropped it low for the one time, bro. Bro, I'm glazing. <laughs> yes, you're warm. You're not even using glazing right. Shut up. You're glazing. All right, all right. Let's, glazing let's, seems like a comfort. Let's, Wait, before we move on, I have a... Can I say this? What up? I have a student not from this country. Hold on. I have a student from an Asian country, okay? But she looked black. Mm-hmm. I told her today. Maybe I shouldn't have told her this. They was like mad at me. I was like, ah, I thought we trying to. Nah, I won't say what I told her, bro. But I told her it was looking nuts, okay? But just know, she looked black. She is one of us. She's our people. She got box braids and everything, okay? But she's Asian. She got a strong accent. So we was teaching her slang today. And so we had to teach her about like what Riz is. And I was like, but if anybody comes to you, say, I got Riz, then just run away. <laughs> um, they were teaching her how to cuss. I was like, no cussing. And they was like, they was. I was like, okay, you want to cuss? Okay, cuss. I'll give you permission. Cuss one time, and she's like, no. I'm like, yeah. And that's when I knew she my people. But I, when she she had the opportunity and said no, I said yeah, this is my folks right here. Mm-hmm. Watch that now, okay? And then, but we just we taught her we taught her some slang. She thought it was stupid. She said they don't have that where she's from. Like yeah, no, we have our regular. <laughs> she's like, we just speak our language. Yeah, we no. all understand what we're saying because it's uh, a language. <laughs> <laughs> no need like, for it. Why, are, no why do we need new words? Stuff up. Like why are we making stuff as we're going? But I just I just. I really do miss being around more black people who knew how to just speak our language. Mm-hmm. Meaning Ebonics. Like I said, my first, well, my most my most viral video to date. Things only black people understand or whatever. I've always done videos like that, but just talking all that Tuki talk. Mm-hmm. Bro, talking all that Tuki talk, I had to remind him I ain't no E-flat. You know what I'm saying? What, what you talking about all for? Do you want me to go get the Skeeter screw on you? What he said, you know what I'm saying? Translator, I know. got folk in them around the corner. I got folk in them around the block. They're gonna pull up right now. We're gonna flash a skater scooty on you. Keep talking all that la la. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna, we gonna, we gonna smear you on the concrete. You know what I'm saying? I automatically know what that means. I'm gonna put you in a the backpack. They ain't gotta think about it. Like, it's just, we know what it means. I don't Here's care how kids. violent it gets. Like, mm-hmm. we just know. We just know. Kids come over talking about something. You, you, four plus four. Like, you're a four. No, come on, bro. You're no, I'm not getting flowers. You're get. you're glazing. I don't think you're using that right. You're four plus four? No, glazing. I don't care. It means nice. <laughs> and Wait, then what? Too, bro. You know what I don't like, though? That there was a... There's also... This is the thing about making your own language. Is that sometimes you can misconstrue. All right? I got one that you can misconstrue. 
Sweet. Oh, uh, yeah. Sweet can be misconstrued. Sweet. I don't like that. Because it got But little... I do like that, like, we be knowing. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, bro, you sweet. Like, yeah, uh, that's like, oh. Uh, bro, you sweet. Bro, sweet. Mm-hmm. See? <laughs> then you know. Is you sweet? Or you sweet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been, the inflection matters. You know what I'm saying? You feel with those fruity? things like that. Fruity. Nah, fruity's one way. Nah, you can't. You Is there any other uh, two way two way slang? Two way slang. We gotta address our two way slang. Make yeah. sure we can nip it in the bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, you got sweet, which means fruity, or you got sweet, which means nice. You nice with it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Um, uh, um, dang, I don't know. I can't think of anything. We're gonna think of something about the week. Okay, I'm, we're gonna think as you as you're talking. <clears throat> oh yeah, but uh, let's 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 end this one with a bang. And we've talked about this before. Let's just talk about somebody else who's glazing. <laughs> she was glazing for sure, for sure. Oh, I, I, I thought we were talking about what? I was talking about Diddy. Oh, no, 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 no. We, that's not even, just Diddy's, I didn't even want to talk about it. Well, well brief, give us the rundown, please. So, re- I didn't even read up, I was I was ready to gap. Look, 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 I will give you a quick rundown, but this isn't a topic that was on the list, but Diddy, his house got raided recently mm-hmm. now because they, they're trying to find his evidence to these claims that are being claimed by these different rappers that Diddy has a sex ring where. Well, okay, go ahead. You know, where the guys, you know, they're, they're, they're holding things above rappers' heads, you know. To keep them controlled, like they had sex with a dude at some point, so they had that video and they want to keep them. You know, crazy tactics. Wow. You know, him raping guys and girls and this, that, and the third. And his, his crazy sex ring. All right. Um, <clears throat> right now they 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 raided his house, but he wasn't there. Apparently, his plane went to the Caribbean, but he was spotted at an airport, and then he wasn't seen again. So in the in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we might see some crazy stuff with Diddy, and everybody's looking at Cat Williams like, "Ah, Cat Williams, he said it." Oh, shut up! Cat it. Williams is not no prophet. Cat Williams is just a young bitter man with a bob. <laughs> he was a hater, but he's he right. He's a young bitter man with a press. Like, what is we? What is we doing? He's bro? a hater. But Stop glazing. It's 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 not ill. It's not ill directed hate though. Cause he got him. He got. He, he was right. Hey, stop glazing. All right, you glazing. All right. But my thing is, bro. You know, I relate to Diddy on a lot of levels. My house. Uh, my house was rated too. <laughs> All right, my house got raided too. We had all them roaches. We had to go to Home Depot. <laughs> yes, stop. We had to go to Home Depot. Had to pull up a. We had to make a nice raid run. Okay, we came. We raided the house. Yeah, and then all the roaches was gone. Yeah, yeah. I was back on the west side. Yeah, yeah. No roaches since. If I did though, I raided again. <laughs> <laughs> bro, just don't know. I thought that's why we should talk about it because they don't know nothing about it, bro. We just like. Uh, all right, but my joke. Let's, let's, let's. I didn't even listen to it. Like, I was waiting to make the raid joke. <laughs> that was your first sentence. Right. So, Diddy House got raided because he has a pedophile sex ring. Raid. Ooh, ooh, raid. raid. What could I say Ooh. with the raid? Put the joke together. Don't even care about the Because I almost made a joke about, like, raid. You raid your hard drive. I was like, nah, too deep. <laughs> <laughs> raid bug spray. Like, yeah. like Dez, we were talking about yeah. sex rings. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, so, let's, let's, let's end this with something we, we had talked about in the past. Mm-hmm. I had asked you a question on uh, a, a certain clip. It was like, if. You saw your okay, most I'm favorite? sorry to do this again, but I'm ADHD. This is what you get for having a podcast with ADHD person. In the comments, they was like, come for Dan Schneider, where you coming for Diddy? <laughs> like, it's gotta be one at a time. We're coming for everybody out there. First of all. Second of all, why we gotta come for anybody? This is TikTok. That's, let's keep it a buck. We, we were like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, get off Diddy a little bit. Let's also come for Dan Schneider yeah. over here. First of all, what? you just learned about Dan Schneider. It's like, and the thing is, why why do these TikTok warriors feel like we have to split our thumb usage equally between everything? It's like, ah, your thumbs are not moving enough on that P A L. We're not we're not saying F R E E P A L enough. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm saying? I need to see that thumb usage. Put them thumbs on that top corner, free Palestine. All right. You know what I'm saying? We also need to make sure that thumbs are moving for Dan Schneider. Yeah. Because if you're not commenting Dan enough, you're not coming for him enough. Yeah, you're not okay? the quota. All right. So we need to go D A as well as D I I or D I D D Y. Okay. So we need to be make sure we're that thumb usage. Yeah, yeah. Like I just imagine like <laughs> an app where it tracks your thumb usage to see like who you're getting on a, a certain amount or whatever. Right. And they send and, it out to community to yeah. say, get on you. <laughs> and then they're like, they, it's like, ah, I got to put this on my story. Why? So everybody know I want Palestine to be free. As a pal sign and a look at your story, we're like, dang, dang. We Hold probably, up, y'all. we probably should be free right dang. now. Hey, <laughs> everybody, let's go. Let's just dip up out of here, y'all. We really should be free right now. The pal- bro, Palestinians the, and the army, they just look into the hashtags like, they really love us. They, they really. And <laughs> 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 the superstars are like, guys, they love us. Guys, we're viral. They really love us. 
Come on, guys, one time. One, six, seven, eight. <laughs> They win the war off of like yeah, bro. camaraderie, bro. Oh my gosh, stop it. It's like, I just imagine one day virality will be the way to know what war was. Like, ah, did you, who'd y'all vote for more, though? Yeah. Y'all voted like lower taxes. <sighs> and, and just imagine like voting being based off of TikTok, like TikTok polls. Mm -hmm. It's like a social credit score type that's, stuff. That's how it's going to be in China. That's what it is. Well, China, China, they don't even allow all that stuff. They're like, ah, hold up. First of all, they're trying to deal with bite dance, bro. We do none of that here. That's a like Chinese stuff. They, they be trying to play everything in one app, bro. That's so Chinese. Yeah. They like everything. That's how you knew TikTok was the Chinese on when they had. You could shop, sell, watch <laughs> videos, everything. Text Whoa. your friends. Google? Whoa. <laughs> like, I mean, is a search? A, wait, a search is built in. You know, in China, they do have like this. It's like this one. It's like a Facebook website, but it has everything. Like passports, yeah, yeah. the social thing, yeah. all of the news. That's all a Chinese that. thing. That's a Chinese like, style dang. company. Like that's how they're. Company, they're after yeah. them. like even Timu. Like if you look at Timu or like Alibaba, like the way that it's set up, like with everything on there and everything just coming at your face, like mm -hmm. that's just that's Chinese. <laughs> that's how they, you know they don't care about none of that. I mean uh, Temu, that downside. Oh, that they don't care about none of that downside, none of that. Make it uh, make it more simple. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah, nah. Make it as difficult as possible. Yeah. So yeah. stop using it. Mm -hmm. They go to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's end this with a bang. Bang. When we talk, and you just answer. Put your gun. <laughs> So we talked about this before. Like, if you saw a celebrity that just looked down bad in a random place, would you still go up to them? And you said yes. All right. That was a droop. I would definitely go to them. I imagine now. Michael Jackson, what happened to you? He's shorter. He plugged it up. It's a side effect of the bleach. Anyway, so celebrity never in the He's never been down bad. Will we go up to him or not? So. A what girl, did I say before? You said yes. Okay. I wrote a clip too so you can see. But this girl tried it out. She, listened, <laughs> she watched the podcast and tried it out. And it did not go good for her. So she went up to uh, Anthony Mackie. He's the guy that plays Falcon for on Avengers. Oh, okay. So she was at a gas station. Mm. And she saw him filling up his, his big old truck, right? And so she was like, oh my gosh. This, I'm probably never going to get a chance. I got to go up to him. So she go up to him all, all nice and gently. Sir. Uh, Mr. Mac, I just, I just, I'm sorry to bother you, but I just wanted to say, and then what he does is crazy. So, have you seen the clip? I feel like I did. Did you post it? Uh, yeah, I did. But we can, we can watch it real quick. This is gonna be fresh. Hey, okay. So while I was loading, bro, what's so, <laughs> what was, what's so funny mm -hmm. is that you have to tell me who Anthony Mackie was. I ain't know who he was. Bro does not have the place to be saying no like that. I am dead. I'm just kidding. I think that back. That's not, I don't really feel that way. I just so thought it'd be fun I, to say. So I just met Anthony Mackie. And let me just say, rudest human being alive. I pulled up to a gas station. I parked my car, getting ready to pump my gas. I see Anthony Mackie across the <laughs> lot. I gently walk up to him being like, oh my God, I'm so sorry to bother. Tell me why Anthony Mackie did this. No. No. To my face. I just wanted to be like, hey, Anthony Mackie, like, it's so nice to meet you. Like, I'm so, like, uh, your work is actually phenomenal. I'm so glad I got to meet you. Like, have an amazing day. That was it. So we're not victim shaming anymore. <laughs> right? So, like, I can't talk about that outfit or her ashy no, lips. No, no. That tiny ponytail. Not the hair okay. either. No, no, no. All right. So we're not victim shaming. We're not victim shaming. Well, but remember, victim? <laughs> but remember the, but remember the Dr. Phil? <laughs> We supposed to be talking about the real scam she went through. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. <laughs> remember what she said? <laughs> but she had the jingle. It takes jingle. She's like, nah. And she let you try to stop shaking it, but it just. Oh, but we gotta find that podcast. <laughs> she had the excess. Drug. She's like, yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Daggy. Daggy. Whatever she said. He's like, you know, he's not the real, he's not the real usher. Mm -hmm. and... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta find that, bro. But anyway, All right, no more big Listen, where people are messing up. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Sorry. I'm, that was echo funny, bro. We laughed most of that podcast, bro. It was not us talking. It was us laughing. But anyway, okay. So where these yes, where where fans mess up is that they be wanting to meet the celebrities, but they ain't thinking that the celebrity don't want to meet you. Yeah. Cause if if we're being real, let's keep it, let's let's boil it down to the basics. Occam's razor. Mm -hmm. You are a random person. He is a random person. When do you ever interact with people? 
that are random people that just yeah. like you have no like the only reason that yeah. you want to go up to them is because of Anthony Mackie, but he's still a human, right? So I would say uh, I feel like when you sign up to do public service, it's just mm-hmm. like a police officer. Like if you are in your if you are in your uniform, let's say you're even in an outfit that signifies I work with the police, but I'm off duty, like just a t-shirt or something, like. You're going to expect maybe a kid can come and be like, hi, you're a police officer. I'm a police officer when I grow up. Like, that's what you do because mm-hmm. you're you're in a public role. If you're the mayor, you, you have a public role. Everybody knows what you do at all times. Nobody cares to go meet a surgeon. But the only time I want to meet a surgeon is like if my brain is like. <laughs> that's like, the only, the only time. That's the only time I go meet a surgeon. Never at the gas station. If I see, see a surgeon, I'll be like, like, ah, wow. Well, that's a sign. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I feel like when you sign up to do a public job, you're always at work. Now. With that being said, though, what if he was growing through something? You know, that's that's what I imagine. Like, if a celebrity's mean to me, like, I just imagine, like, what if, bro, cousin just died? Mm-hmm. How would you, what would you do if your cousin just died? And the crackhead came and said, can I just have one dollar? That's all I need. I just, no! Even, <laughs> like, just really imagine what you would do if your cousin just had just died. Mm-hmm. You don't know. You have your windows down. Because... Cause I felt like it's hot, fresh air. <laughs> we live in New Orleans, and it's yeah. May. It's you, April. You got your music blasting. I like the song. What? It's it's Cardi B smoking a cigar. What? I just went through this. I like doing things like, sometimes. You know what? I have an addiction. <laughs> Sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole time yeah. she didn't mention that it's Saturday at twelve o'clock. Like <laughs> and he's chilling. I'm chilling. Like. I don't know. I just feel like it's wrong to expect celebrities to always be celebrities. She didn't want to meet Anthony, Anthony Mackie, bro. She wanted to she meet was, the Falcon. She wanted to meet Falcon. <laughs> she wanted to meet Falcon. Let's be real. She wanted him to make a witty line. Bro, you don't know what bro just did. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> and even that, it's probably, it, it, most likely, it's probably none of that. Bro, just trying to chill. And I, I feel it. When you say it's like, oh, they, they you know, you, when you sign up for like a public thing, you're famous or whatever, you sign up for people just coming up to you. Mm-hmm. But after a while, bro, like... Mm-hmm. <clears throat> when I when I met uh well met when I seen uh, uh Draymond Green, Green in the way and he was not looking to sign no autographs bro was just trying to get on his plane and get out of here that's mm-hmm. why he came so close to it when his uh when his plane departed he just wanted to get in the plane and go back to Oakland that's all I wanted to do so <clears throat> they, I, the crowd start drawing over you got to start taking pictures and autographs hey right, look I, I I know I'm a celebrity I feel it I know I inspire some of y'all but you feel my fear I have a I have a fear of that. Mm-hmm. Because um you know I'm just dude though. So maybe think it's gonna work. Wait, what do you have a fear of? Of uh being famous people coming up to me. Preface that for the clip. <clears throat> um the clip. Des. What do you want me to do? Preface that for the clip. When I have a fear of a when Oh I my god, famous. you always want me to say this stuff. Why you can't just clip it regular? Because just imagine if I called my pastor and told him to redo that part of the sermon. Yes, no. I gotta, I make your job Stop making your job. Stop making stuff unrealistic. You want me to make your job easy? Yes. Why? <laughs> It'd be better for the you clip. You don't even be editing long form clips no more. Let's talk about that. On let's make that a topic. Nah, Who's that long form clip you edited? Relax. I'm a hard drive right now. See, bro, I was talking about some it. relax. Whatever, bro, does not do what he's supposed to do. His favorite line is relax. This guy. This and dude. then this guy. This just dude. go. Say it. That's what, you, that's what was next. Proceed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I have a fear. I have an irrational fear of becoming a celebrity and too many people coming up to me because people do not believe and understand that I am antisocial. <laughs> I right now at my school with kids who I see every day get asked for autographs. And sometimes kids be being funny. I Sometimes these kids be being genuine. Like I have kids who are literally offering me money for autographs and I'm like, Bro, please. Like, they want to take pictures with me. They want to say, can we do a TikTok? And I'm going to talk and tag you and say, like, my teacher is famous and all of this and that. Like, I already don't like that. And these are just my students. Like, just imagine what it'll be like when I grow. And you know what I'm saying? And I've gotten recognized in public, but I've never had somebody come up to me and be like, hey, I know it's five in the morning and you at the gym, but, like, I'm taking a selfie. I've never had that before. And so meeting, getting that as somebody who is antisocial is a giant fear of mine. Like, I've seen, I've had people whispering about me and I'm like, I think I've seen it from that. They keep doing TikTok. I've heard that before. I'm okay with that. Like, yes, I do. <laughs> and just, just keep it pushing. But like, for somebody to come up to you and they're like, I love your work. Like, I've been following you for five years. Like, please take a selfie with me. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. So, my solution, I'm just wearing my social battery pen. There you go. And then when they see it, I'm like, ah, shh, shh, social battery. Bro, put the autism pen next to it. I'll never come up to you. They better know that. Bro, my mess around. I'll technically hit so me. I'm saying if they if they don't know that, like they shouldn't be a fan. So if they can't respect my social battery pin, mm-hmm. they're not a real fan. Mm-hmm. 
just take a picture of the pin. And maybe not, maybe that's what I'll do. Like, yeah. But then you might draw too much attention. Cause I was gonna say, like, put something, like, have a pin, like, if you recognize me, I don't want to talk, just take a picture. <laughs> like, it's take okay if you take a random picture of me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That'd be that'd be cool, I guess. Like, take a take a take a far away selfie. Right. They'd be like, oh my gosh, it's this. Oh, far away selfie. Shh, guys. Yeah. Far away selfie. He's having autistic. And it's like, life. it's like, oh my gosh, it's this, guys, come on. And you see. And then everybody's coming, oh my god, it's this. He's like, no, 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 no. Far away selfie. Far away selfie. Shh. Like, oh. And then, like, the third one comes up. I've done this plenty of times. <laughs> I do it 1.5 million. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're sitting on side. They live in Vegas. <laughs> so, you may be that, but nah, I don't know. People yeah. want autographs and stuff. People just want to meet you. And I don't want people to take pictures with me and give me the sign stuff. I want people to recognize me and want to talk to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, we're not there yet, so that's not really too much of a concern. But just, it's plausible, but... just walking around and just people wanting to bother me. Yeah. So, how do you, think a, how you think a fan should approach like, well, I guess you kind of hit on that a little bit. You just want people to talk to you, but I'll answer it again. How should you? How should a, how how do you think a, a fan should approach a celebrity? I I think it depends. Um, I know for me, the way that I approach celebrities is I always approach celebrity if I have a reason to. Like, I never just be approaching somebody to just be like, "Hey, what?" Okay, <laughs> I'll say it like this: from somebody who has been recognized before, my least favorite thing, my least favorite way to get recognized is. Oh, Bro, Des Burgers? What? I wish I was messing like Dirty Explorers. I wish I was messing like Dirty Explorers. It was like, wow. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing ever. And it happens every day. Yeah. They be like, oh my God. Oh my God. Why you be beef with your grandma? Please grab me on my daddy's side. And I'm like, bro. Or they come to you, they be like, bro, 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 bro. I know you. I was like, for real? Like, I see your TikTok. It's my way or the highway. Put the car in the driveway. Yeah, I see it too. Like, I made wow, it. I made it. Yeah. When I was mixing it, I had to listen to it about 500 times. Yeah. I don't want to hear it again. <laughs> Especially not from your tiny 11 year old raspy voice. <laughs> nah, bro. But you got to pretend. You got to. And so I just feel like when I meet celebrities, like, I'm not going to do that to them. Mm-hmm. Just imagine going to meet Rihanna and being like, oh my God, love on top. Ooh. I was like, baby, it's I know. <laughs> <laughs> work, 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 work. That's you. That's you. That is me. Yeah. yeah like, that thanks. is me. And work was the most of the work I've done. Like I said, work 72 times on that song. Yeah, I just I don't want to hear you say yeah. it 77. I had a deadline to me, but that yeah, one. Yeah. Now but, um, I, another another way they never approach a celebrity and they do this a lot. Especially with Drake for some reason. They'll they'll see Drake come out like a nightclub or something. They'll be like, Drake, Drake. Kendrick's better. Kendrick's better. What are you gaining? Yeah. That's, what are you gaining from that? That's middle school behavior. Like, you're just being annoying. And it'd be like 20-year-olds. Yeah, that's middle school behavior. <laughs> that's your, that's, I'm going to say his name. That's your kids in class. Yeah, bro. Kendrick's bro, better. Bro, right now, they, they literally see me. <laughs> they literally see me. They'd be like, bro, Mr. Burgers, your crew went diss you. <laughs> Where you going to diss back? You see that video? Why your Cooper throw a chair at you? <laughs> you go here with a chair. Like it's just the oh, same, wow. same Thank thing, you, bro. same it's energy, stupid. bro. Yeah, yeah. It's so stupid. if you're a 20 year old and you see Drake or you see just, Cole or some and you talk about some Kendrick's better, just know my students do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, like you, <laughs> my 12 year olds do the same thing, bro. <sighs> but um, these yeah, kids those are the worst ways to approach celebrities. So for me, I'm gonna just go approach them and let them know, like, hey man, yeah, I like your work. So actually, with the hey, are you Mr. Anthony Mackie? Girl, you know I'm Anthony Mackie. Yes, girl. I'd be like, hey, I love your work, man. I love your work. So he might be like, appreciate it. I'm one of those. I'm going to keep it pushing. But you know what, man? Somebody like that I would never even want to go meet. You know who I want to meet? PJ Morton. Mm-hmm. Um, Fantasia. Yeah. I've seen Fantasia in passing. I met Kirk Franklin a handful of times. I met everybody gospel plenty of times. Um, and I never have treated celebrities like they're, like they're celebrities. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I think it's weird. Like I think so. I met Kevin on stage a couple times, and every time I went to go see him, I think he always thought that I was gonna go up to him and be like, "Fanboy," but yeah. like, I should be chilling. Like I met him so many times. <laughs> y'all you know I'm saying, "What's up, boy?" I think he's my dad. Touch me in the stomach. How I told you that? <laughs> you think he's <laughs> seeing a celebrity? But like, hey, what up, bro? <laughs> what up, boy? And then, hey, yo, what's good? What's good, y'all? Just get- you realize I see you, bro. Yo. <laughs> Like, first of all, a grown man. A grown man. And you got taller? That's what's up. Yeah, you got taller. Hey, he walks away. He's like, oh, I was getting ready to take a picture with him, man. Yeah, yeah. But since we're talking about Kim on stage. Oh, Lordy. Joshy Gonzi, bro. We have, Dez, we please, have Dez, personal beef. Dez, just please forget about it. Just like, get, how did bro it. act like he doesn't know who I am anymore? You got to forget about And then, like, why won't he just block me? You said that? Oh. <laughs> why won't he just block me if you're not going to answer? He like you people watching. He get off on it. He likes he you get off on it. it. You hit on something right there. 
four years ago, you were saying, hey, bro, pull up to the show. We need extra cameras. Now you talk about some. Yeah. That's what we talk about. N- yeah. Nothing. Silence. Scene. And he reads it to you. Your hair receipt is on. He probably turned them all just, so I, just for me. That's just what you fucking see. I'm, I'm up now. That's what you Bro, see. you had an Android when I got your digits. How you flexing on somebody he that love you? He had an Android with green messages. He got an iPhone now upgraded. I had every Gonzi tape. He a op, bro. I'm telling you. But shout out Kev, though. Yeah. Kev is big. Yeah. I just heard him say the N-word recently. Has he been saying the N-word? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He uses that word. I've never. He indeed uses that word. Do you think he deserved an F special? He was he was uh, sad about that. He was joking about it, but like. Please. please. <laughs> you know? That's my dad, but like, come on. He need a uh, to be special. It. Don't gas it, bro. That's my father. You know what I'm saying? That's that's big. That's that's my dude. He need a pure flick special. But like, please. Yeah, pure flick special. Yeah, no, but that no. actually might go hard, bro. Pure flick special might really be the move. Like, I think a lot of people need to understand, like, kind of just try to be smarter about it. Like, pure flicks might be what he needs to work towards anyway. Yeah. It's going to be the worst special ever. But like, then you, know guys, how, you know, in church, they'll be like, the switch, and they switch accidentally yeah. wrong thing, they go back. Oh, yeah. That's going to be it. One take, all the way but, through. But the thing is, bro, but bro don't even, you got a whole app. What did you, like, he grinding trying to get, he got church on BET. He with BET right now. Yeah, but. Go, hey, let me do a. Let me kick off y'all, uh, y'all comedy career thing you were here. You yeah, feel me? Bro has a whole app. <clears throat> Whatever. You got a YouTube, all that. So he has an. Does app. he not have like a full thing on YouTube? He, he has an app, a paid platform subscription. You know, the worst thing is seeing a celebrity just like fumble right in front of eyes. I was thinking about. I was saying this with my girl. Um, with yeah, um, uh, Keith Lee. The whole op. hell band the about. Op. But listen though, this is where it makes me mad. You got a whole TikTok band. Whole TikTok band that they that's that's it looks like it might happen. Like it's it's close. It might it may or may not happen. TikTok band, we're not sure. And he's still not making YouTube videos. He still ain't make the juicy transition. So I'm like, bro, there are so many things you could do, like with with long form content that's not food reviewing. You can go to these restaurants and hit them with a uh kind of like a fusion of like Guy Fieri and uh and uh Gordon Ramsay. Hit them with like go to those black businesses and interview them and get their story, hard emotion. T- you got the bread to get the best the best quality out of it. You got all of this, but you're still making these food reviews. You want to hit them up? I I hit them in the comments. I I got bro. I I hey I knew he was gonna laugh. That's why I never said it. But I got comfortable. I that's why I get for getting comfortable. I hit them in the comments, but I. <laughs> I hate it. I don't. This is tough. Why is this funny? I knew you were going to laugh. I didn't know why it would be funny, though. Bro, I was trying to shoot a shot at Keith Lee. And I caught him. I was trying to shoot. And he didn't say nothing, did he? He didn't say nothing, did he? Not yet. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me check. I said it like a couple hours ago. Maybe. And then, and then let me tell you, because I know you, you probably been checking every 15 minutes. Because it's a good idea, bro. No way. Because you feel me? I, 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 I'll be giving this sauce away for free. At least you can do is like, like Ooh. it. Nah, he ain't. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, he ain't like it, bro. Ooh. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. But that wasn't funny. I'm I, sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. But not, just seeing a, just seeing an influencer fumble a bag is crazy. Like even like Drewski's trying to go at it and it's trash. Have you seen like the could have been house? I hate it. Very bad. But the clips is hilarious, bro. I I bet. But I watched the full thing with my and she was just dying laughing. My girl dying laughing. Oh my god, it's so funny. I'm watching this like the clips was funny. Bro. Bad, bad, bad. The clips was hilarious. Mm-hmm. When bro had uh, hey, C Mac is funny though. C Mac is hilarious. C-Mac, I'll give it that. C Mac is <laughs> for no reason funny, bro. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, give me a rag. No, I'm fighting about this rag. He's like, oh, they fight about it. <laughs> like, what, what you mean, been fighting about it? Like, always on a fight. Like, always <laughs> about everything, bro. I do this like that. <laughs> Literally, C Mac is funny. Oh my god, his clips was hilarious. But uh, oh, man, no. these influencers when he had fumbling. the midget, the midget with oh, the stairs. I didn't see that one. But anyway. So I'm gonna hit him in the I'm gonna hit him in the yeah. DMs this yeah, time. DMs, bro. We gonna figure this out. I might be able to get his his contact, bro. I'll see. I don't care enough though. Yeah, I'm not gonna get this contact. I don't feel like it. This. We might we might got some mutuals, bro. I could I should. You Facebook. definitely got mutuals, but I'm just saying like, how do you feel about collabing or like helping them out and like, cause he he has a good product. He's a good role model. Like I would rather them. Yeah, be, but like if they, if I had an iPad kid, I would let them just like scroll through Keith Lee videos for like five hours. Like yeah, if I had to. But like, but is he really gonna offer me anything? Like, I'm going to be on his platform, 
And then, like, I'm going to be that guy. Like, oh, you was that guy that stood next to Keith Lee and he tagged you in the comments. Yeah. Like, what can I really gain? We're not, it's not a collab. Like, it would be a collab if I had 100,000 followers to bring over. Even though it's not his 12 million, but like, yeah. oh, we brought you 100,000. Like, you got your little gang. Like, well, let me see what this guy's talking about. Like, I'm not that nearly that big. So, yeah. that's my thing. All right. So, would you want to be on the a, same band? Would you want to be on a, a Keith Lee production? If we was kind of do like, you mean in front or on behind? Behind. Nah, bro. Mm. I don't want to do nobody production. <laughs> okay. I feel it. But in front, though, you would want to. Yeah, I would. I just, don't, I just don't feel like it makes sense. It, it wouldn't at it all. It just doesn't make sense. At all. You but, and Kev on stage probably makes sense more yeah, than that, yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. Which I would. Goofy. I would collab with Kev, but Joshy B. Joshy B. Joshy B glazing. <laughs> Joshy B glazing. Not you, though. Not me. Not you. He be glazing. I think we could probably get it, bro. Cause... He be gatekeeping. Uh-huh. It's just bro, come on! I didn't even had an Android. Please stop. Yeah. Please stop. But yeah, um, but shout out Kev. I want to. I, I want to work with Kev. Work with Kev. I want to work with uh, Keith Lee Block, bro. I'll unblock him if he if he. Let me know how the comments go though. Man, we'll see. I'll unblock him. We'll I see. probably won't. But anyway, anything else to talk about? 